The time-honored tradition of canning is a great way to save money, share your special recipes, and enjoy summer and fall foods even in the dead of winter. Plus, it's way easier than you think. We'll show you an easy home canning method that uses boiling water to heat and seal jars of food. This process works with canning recipes high in acid content, like jams, jellies, or pickled vegetables. Low acid foods like meats, seafood, dairy, and unpickled vegetables aren't a good choice for this type of canning. Be safe, there are no shortcuts for canning. Read and follow your canning recipe exactly to ensure you're using the right combination of acid and heat for proper water bath canning. You can also find great canning resources online. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has online extension offices for every state, staffed by experts to provide safe canning tips for your specific location. Use jars, lids, and screw-on bands or rings that are made specifically for canning. Don't use old mayonnaise or baby food jars. You can reuse jars and bands as long as they are undamaged. Lids, however, are designed for one-time use only, so buy new lids every time you can. Time to get your materials ready. Here's what you'll need. A canning recipe for freshly prepared high-acid fruits and veggies. Tomatoes and berries work best for this method. A large canning pot with a fitted lid and a removable jar rack. If you have an electric stove top, be sure your canning pot has a flat bottom. An assortment of canning jars, lids, and bands. A large pot for sterilizing jars. A small pot for soaking lids and bands. A tea kettle for boiling extra water. A jar lifter for handling hot jars. A wide mouth funnel. Ladles. A narrow, heat-proof rubber or plastic spatula. Don't use metal. Some paper towels. Racks or cloth towels for cooling jars. And a kitchen timer. Step one, sterilize the jars and lids. Wash and rinse all the jars, lids, and bands in hot water and discard any that are nicked or chipped. Sterilize just the jars in boiling water for 10 minutes. Leave the jars in hot water until you're ready to fill them. Soak the clean lids in hot but not boiling water for at least 10 minutes to soften the rubber seal. Leave the lids in warm water until you're ready to use them. The clean bands can be at room temperature for easy handling. Step two, heat the water bath. Fill the canning pot halfway with water and turn on the heat. Hang the jar rack inside the canning pot. Step three, fill the jars. Use the wide mouth funnel and a ladle to fill the clean, hot jars with the prepared recipe. Your recipe will tell you exactly how much unfilled headspace to leave at the top. Gently run your spatula all the way around the inside of the jar to release any air bubbles. Use a clean, damp cloth to wipe away any food or liquid from the jar rims and threads. Step four, close the jars. Place a lid on each jar, making sure the rubber seal fully contacts the rim. Fit a band over the lid and screw it closed firmly, but not tightly. Step five, fill the rack. Use the jar lifter to place the jars in the rack, making sure the jars don't touch each other. Lower the rack into the hot water. The jars must be covered by one to two inches of water but refer to your recipe to confirm. Add more hot water from your kettle if you need to. Step six, simmer. Turn the heat to high and bring the water to a boil. Start your timer as soon as the water starts boiling vigorously. Cover the pot, reduce the heat, and let the jars simmer at a gentle boil for as long as your recipe calls for. Step seven, cool down. When the time is up, Turn off the heat and use the jar lifter to remove the hot jars. Stand them on a rack or towel, leaving room between the jars so they can cool at room temperature. As they cool, you'll hear a little ping as the lids sink down in the center. A ping is a good thing. It means the jar is vacuum sealed for safe storage.
after the jars are completely cooled, which could take 12 to 24 hours, double check each seal by unscrewing the bands and pressing down on the center of the lid. If you don't feel any give, the lid is properly sealed. If the lid springs back up, the jar did not seal. Put it straight into your fridge and eat it up within two weeks. Label and date your jars and store them in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight. They should keep well for a year or sometimes more. When it comes time to enjoy your preserves, exercise a little caution. If something looks or smells odd, or if the seal is broken, throw it away and sterilize anything the contaminated food might have touched. That's it. With the basics of water bath canning, you'll capture and share the best of summer in a jar. And you'll savor the flavors long after the growing season is over.